Hey YouTube, it is cold and wet outside and I have just been outside, thus my attire. My body is cold and wet, but then of course what I am is not housed in this body. This is the whole nature of today's lesson. Lesson 97 is I am spirit. This is part of the ultimate solution that this course offers, that I am not, in fact, housed within this seeming case, this avatar that seems to encapsulate and trap the essence of my being. This is just a very temporary vessel that I'm driving around in. What I am is spirit. What I am is immortal. What I am is eternal. What you are is immortal, eternal spirit. Nothing can change that. Nothing can alter that. Nothing can damage that. Nothing can hurt that. Nothing can negatively impact that in any way. That is simply what I am. That is simply what you are. And it mentioned in a previous lesson that all of the worries, all of the concerns, all of the pains, all of the struggles that I have in this world are associated with being a body. Were I to believe for a moment that I'm not this body, a lot of those worries, fears and concerns would simply disappear, would simply cease to be. And so this lesson emphasizes what I am. It spent a lot of time in the previous lessons teaching me what I'm not, this is very much in line with the Eastern philosophies, this is very much in line with Buddhism, with Hinduism, teaching me what I'm not, in order that as that is removed, what I am can start to emerge. And today it states very clearly, I am spirit. I'm gonna read you a little bit of today's lesson. It says, today's idea identifies you with your one self, capital S, self. It accepts no split identity, nor tries to weave opposing factors into unity. It simply states the truth. Practice this truth today as often as you can, for it will bring your mind from conflict to the quiet fields of peace. The quiet fields of peace. The mystic poet Rumi said, out beyond the ideas of right and wrong, there is a field I'll meet you there. He's referring to the quiet field of peace. It continues, no chill of fear can enter for your mind has been absolved from madness, letting go illusions of a split identity. No chill of fear can enter. This is the antidote to fear. This is the antidote to self-harm. And whether I appear to be harming this body, whether I appear to be harming another body, whether I appear to be harming another soul by talking negatively about them, by attacking them verbally, by thinking negatively about them, I'm still always attacking myself, capital S, what we all are. So it is always a form of self-harm, capital S. I get to let go of that. That comes from a place of fear. I get to be whole, I get to be complete. I get to feel complete in my being. Now, have I been doing this relentlessly? I've been practicing this lesson for a few days. Has it been this relentless stream of experiencing that wholeness, that completeness, that unity, that oneness? Absolutely not, not even close. But when I do stop, when I do meditate and when I do get still and when I do consider this lesson, I do feel it. And today's lesson is very clear. It says that this is a practice that can save you thousands of years. How many lifetimes, how many thousands of years have I been doing this? Have you been doing this? This lesson can save thousands more, thousands. Think how many lifetimes could be saved by me being willing to connect to this idea, by me being willing to be still enough to feel that oneness that one day will pull me out of this seeming reality, this nightmarish realm that we seem to reside in. One day, one day.
one day there will cease to be the need to be here, the seeming need to be here, and I will return home where I never left, because this is a place of imagination and dreams, not of reality. But until then, I continue to practice, I continue to spend a lot of the day believing that I am housed in a human body, the essence of who I am, held prisoner in this frame. I continue to believe many of the insane thoughts that go through my head, but I have these kind of practices to remind me that I am not that, that I am so much more, that I am not of flesh and blood, I am not of matter, I am not housed in the material realm, I am spirit, you are spirit. We are all part of that one self. That is where salvation lies for me, for you, I believe for everybody. I love you all so much. It's New Year's Eve here. I will probably be posting this in 2023, but Happy New Year. I hope that it brings everything that you could ever want and more. And uh, I've been doing this a year now. I'm taking my time and I will continue to do it because it's important to me. This journey is really important to me. I love you all so much. See you in the next lesson.